What's up guys, this is Casey with The Division Productions. Today I'm doing some rotoscoping with our Wacom 24 HD Cintiq tablet. So we're at a point now where we have our final edit locked in for our project. And now comes the effects. So in this example, we have a bunch of shots of our ninja killing a bunch of dudes and there's no smoke at all. There's a little bit of fog, which, is, which will help but there's no smoke from a smoke bomb because we didn't have any practical smoke to use. When you're shooting a movie that's gonna have special effects, you shoot a plate and then you put elements over that and that's what's called compositing. That's a general term for anything that is putting layers over another thing. You can composite in Photoshop, um, but we're using Adobe After Effects because we're doing video. So just like in Photoshop, in After Effects, you can take your main layer, your footage, and you can add layers over it. Say maybe it's fog or smoke or fire or muzzle flashes, anything like that that you can put these elements together and make it look like it's all real and all in the scene. We didn't have our smoke machine working. We thought it was working, but it wasn't. So we said, oh, we'll just do it in post. So here I am. Why did they shoot it that way? You guys didn't see the light? The process is a lot like smashing yourself in the face with a cinder block. I need to go for a walk! I'm working inside of Mocha right now and I'm tracking different parts of our Ninja. The reason I'm using Mocha instead of After Effects is because Mocha is a planar tracker. And so instead of tracking a point, which is what After Effects does, it actually tracks, it's almost like an entire picture. The good thing about Mocha is you can track your object and it will do about 90% of the work for you. And then you can just go through and make your final adjustments. The reason we're using the Cintiq is because I can draw it directly on the screen, which makes it really easy to grab points and just move them exactly where I want them to go. So it feels kind of like you're just drawing on a paper with a pen, which is really great if you're trying to trace out a character, which is pretty much what rotoscoping is. After I've done my tracking and made my shapes and made everything perfect in Mocha, I can export it into After Effects as a mask and I can either apply that to my footage or to a solid and make a mat. And we can use that mat to isolate our elements in our shot, in this case, our ninja. And so we do that in Adobe After Effects and we can put more smoke in, we can put fog, we can add blood, we can add people that weren't there, we can add lights. You can add just about anything you want to make your movie look that much better. So we add some smoke to the front of the scene. We also do some rotoscoping and add some smoke behind the characters to give it a little bit of depth and really sell the shot. 